Schneider Electric enjoys delivering power. Square D of Schneider Electric has been delivering busway and markets around the world for over 50 years. During this time period, and based on customer input, we've been able to develop several ranges of products to meet your needs in economical power distribution. Eyeline Busway offers a complete line of compatible sandwich type feeder and plug-in busway links and fittings. It allows a maximum flexibility, ease of installation, and electrical efficiency for the distribution of power to both commercial and industrial applications. Eyeline Busway systems have been used to supply power in thousands of installations around the world for more than three decades. Now let's see the installation process of the busway system. First of all, a detailed survey of the installation location is needed, ensuring the supporting structure has been installed properly. The busway system needs to be kept indoors in a cool and dry area, and to be kept away from wet concrete, corrosive fumes and liquids to prevent mechanical damage. The busway ends are factory wrapped in a plastic for dust and moisture protection. When transporting the busway system, handle the busway with care to avoid damage to the internal components and the enclosure or finish. Avoid subjecting bus weight to twisting, denting, impact, and in general rough handling. Remove and discard the plastic protective cover of the busway system. Inspect the busway system closely. Watch for breakage, oxidation, rust, and puncture. Read the instruction and the assembly chart carefully. Each busway catalog number and assembly chart should match. Use a mega to check the installation integrity of each phase. The reading should be over 10 mega ohms. Orient busway straight, links with top and bottom facing the same direction. Next, use a hoist to raise the busway to place of installation. Connect the busway to the supporting hangers. It's best to remove the plastic wrapper before installation. Slide busway links together end to end. Use a joint assembly tool to slide joints together. Ensure there is proper surface contact at the joints. Make sure that the outer tie channel holes are spaced 340 millimeters apart. Tighten to visit titty bolts. Use a leveling tool to ensure the busway is level. Make adjustments as needed. Place the protective covers on the top and the bottom. Then put the protective cover on and tighten the bolts to 60 to 80 feet pounds of torque and then put the tie channel on and tighten the tie channel bolts to 12 to 15 feet pounds of torque. Ensure the rubber plug is properly tightened on the bottom cover. Depending upon the joint configuration, place the top cover L1, L2 and L3 on the top side of the joint. Elbow fitting to elbow fitting, use plate marked L1 elbow fitting to straight. 
use plate marked L2, straight to straight, use plate marked L3. Repeat the process with the next section of the busway system. Protect the busway ends with a temporary plastic sheet, bag, or waterproof cover provided by our company. This is to prevent water falling into the non-completed busway joints. If there is an elbow that's needed for installation, you can pre-assemble some parts. Before joining the sub-assembly, use the Megger to check the installation integrity of each phase. Slide the busways together. Tighten the visitity bolt. Then put the protective cover on after removing the protective cover from the sealants on the center edge of the duct side. Tighten the bolts and then put the tie channels on. Tighten the tie channel bolts. Lift the completed pre-assembled one into the position. Slide into the previous piece. Then install the protective cover and tie channel. Use a leveling tool to ensure the whole subway system is level. Make adjustments as needed. Use the same process to install the vertical part of the system. Lastly, connect the system to the flanged end. Make sure the flanged end is leveled and make adjustments before tightening the last visitity bolt. Check the insulation integrity of each phase again. Square D offers a complete line of protection. IP66, IP54, 55, and 65, and IP41 and 40.